Hello there and um, happy, happy Sunday. Wow, it's Sunday, the weekend, the end of the weekend. So I pray that your weekend was awesome and that earlier today uh, you've had a wonderful, beautiful worship experience and that you are ready to tell us about it. Also, um, ready to hear a little bit more about rest. So welcome to our Daily Dosa session of Worship and Rest Sundays, brought to you by Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry that's focused on gut, God, and you. So I pray that each time we come on that we are helpful, something that we say, something that you hear will help you along the way in your health journey. So as always, when we're wait, as we're waiting on people to pop in, we are going to say a prayer and then we're going to go on with the session for today, worship and rest. Gracious Father, we thank you, O oh God, for bringing us through another Sunday. We thank you for the opportunity, O oh God, to worship you, worship you in spirit, worship you in our truth. We just thank you for just not this day, but each and every day you give us an opportunity to serve you and to praise you and to worship you. But this day is specially set aside for some and then some was on yesterday to set aside a day just for you, just to focus on you, your goodness and your mercy uh, that endures forever. So we just thank you for the opportunity. I want to uplift, oh God, our families in prayer that are bereaving and for you to just give them strength, oh God, and comfort in knowing that their loved ones are with you and we will see them again, oh God. We uh, just thank you, oh God, for uh, one personal thing for Miss Dester Johnson in my life, oh God, how she has blessed me down through the years. I have never known a minute of my life without her. So I just pray for her family and her friends, oh God. We will miss her tremendously. But we know, oh God, that she is now seated in your presence, oh God, without pain, without worry. So we just give you all the praise and glory for that. Bless our time together, oh God, that we would receive what you have for us, oh God, and not only receive it, use it, utilize it in our lives, oh God, to make it better, better for you, oh God, and better for the ones around us. We love and thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we give all the glory and we ask these blessings. Amen. Amen. So we're uh, going to, today is a day where uh, people come on and tell us about their worship experience. And if no one comes on at this particular time and they view it later, then you can just, uh, in, your, in the comments, you can put them down, put in like um, the, the pastor, the preacher that you experienced today, the sermon subject and what uh, passage that come out of that would be great. And that way we can and then, you know, if you want to give comments along the way of how it was, how the, the service, how the sermon blessed you, that would be awesome. So um, let's talk about rest. So we've talked about rest in a manner of um, how it's important to get enough sleep. And it's important that we, you know, take time off. So today we're just going to talk about um, more and more of the medical world is recognizing, uh, we always talk about nutrition and food, how important food is. And so the buzz phrase now is food, and, food is medicine. So Hippocrates, like over 2,000 years ago, always, he said it best. He said, let medicine be thy food and food be thy medicine. So we're coming up more and more because of all of the side effects uh, that uh, the, that we experience with the synthetic products that are being made, that are we are taking, uh, we're becoming more and more involved in looking for more healthier, natural ways uh, for our bodies to sustain our bodies. So um, the, the right food can be the answer to our prayers and the wrong foods can be the reason for our demise. So we just want to be careful about the foods that we choose. And so, but rest is just as important as food because rest allows our body to relax and to digest and to process the food in order that it would be most um, sufficient to us. So we want to always um, 
they, they go hand in hand where eating right and resting because you can eat all the right foods but if you're stressed and you're not getting an adequate amount of rest then the nutrition is not absorbed it's not distributed the way it's supposed to and you can still um, end up with conditions and diseases so we want to be um, mindful that we need to just like you know when we get off work we need to clock out we need to clock out sometimes clock out and take an extended break or take an extended break or just disconnect from all of the busyness that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and take that time just to wusa, just to breathe, just to relax so that our body can regenerate. So, you know, we all need rest, anything that needs rest. There's this one particular doctor says, even your heart takes a rest in between beats. And so it just doesn't, if your heart was beating steadily with no rest, then you would be in trouble because the blood would be pumping too hard and it would cause all kind of, we would probably um, die. So that's why rest is so important. We need to be able to function properly. It affects our cognitive where, you know, it helps us think clearer. There were studies done where people who, you know, cram for tests or whatever, um, and then the people who got rest and just studied along the way did much better than the people who are cramming. Some people, you know, they are, you know, they work better under pressure, but it's not good for the body and the, foot and the digestive system. So we just want to be mindful that rest is vitally important. Uh, I always refer back to God, you know, he was the first mention of rest in the Bible. He rested on the seventh day. And so we need to be able to follow suit and to rest. God, when you're on vacation, just think about when you're on vacation. There's not, you don't really, you know, you try to try to disconnect and try to relax and you were just enjoying the scenery you enjoying the experience around you and you're able your body is able to regenerate your body is able to absorb nutrients you know you have the oxygen flowing all of these things that your body is supposed to do when you're in a relaxed state there's a reason it says rest and digest because when we rest we're able to digest our food and it's able to do what it's supposed to do so rest is not only just, you know, just sleeping, but rest is disconnecting. Rest is pu pushing away. Rest is taking an extended break so that um, you can be better. You know, you can be better for your family. You can be better for your job, your business, if you learn to take a rest, take a break. All right, that's what I have for you today. Uh, may God continue to bless and keep you. May your Sunday continue to be wonderful. And tomorrow, Monday, is Motivating Moving Monday. So we will be here talking about the benefits of movement. And we will be, we will be moving a little bit. So we will be, uh, we'll put on some music and we'll move and we'll stretch. And we will get our day started. So we're here Monday through Saturday from 10.30, uh, starts at 10.30, the times vary. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, just depends on Fridays, it's usually longer because it is our, uh, Friday, Frank Friday free for all. So it's coming with different topics. People, uh, people come with their um, interests, with their opinions, and we just chat and we just talk about it and get it all out there. So Monday is movement. And Tuesday is teas. Wednesday is worship and water and uh, water or hydration. Thursday is herbs, and then Saturday is spices. And today on Sunday was worship and rest. So may God bless and keep you. May He uh, make His face to shine upon you. May you may He give you His peace. May He lift up His countenance above you. May He bless your coming in and going out. May he keep you and your family safe. Be sure and to you know follow the guidelines that's out right now. Go out as little as possible. And when you do go out, prepare yourself with gloves, with a uh, mask, and uh, just be careful of social distancing and everything like that because we want to be responsible stewards of our temples. And so we want to keep it safe and we want to keep others safe. So have a wonderful rest of the day. And we will see you on tomorrow.